Ethernet's just continually evolving. I mean, the Ethernet is the widest, widest deployed network. Uh, it's the largest uh, consumer of fiber optic components. Like fiber optic transceivers went over a billion dollars per year last year. So a lot of innovation keeps going into Ethernet and all the optics technology, the copper technology. So it's just proliferating in all kinds of ways. I mean, when there's over 400 million ports a year shipping, it continues to grow. People are investing a lot and deploying at a massive amount. The hottest thing right now is 400 gigabit uh, ethernet. So we just started this new project for 400 billion bits per second going down uh, fiber to make a new link. So we've already, we're making 100 gig low cost right now with the second generation product. So we're starting this, the first generation of 400 gigabit. Uh, another hot topic is 40G base T in the standards arena. We're starting to uh, specify how we're going to go 30 meters over 40G base T. So they'll probably need to use screened or shielded twisted pair cable. Uh, so not quite what 10G base T uses or the other ones, but maybe uh, maybe Cat8 cabling. Well, 400 gig, it, it's an unknown, right? We did the call for interest. We're going to start meeting on that in May. So it's the, it's the hot new thing. The main question is, are we going to do 16 by 25 gigabits per second or 8 by 50 gig? We can really leverage the 100 gig technology just basically quadrupling the 4 by 25 gig to get to 400 gigabit per second. If we have to define new electrical lanes to at 50 gigabits per second, that's a lot of new technology that could take it multiple years. If we, a lot of system vendors want to do this quickly and just go for or 16 by 25 gig, so we could do that in two to three years if we do that. First generation 100 gigabit Ethernet is, is well mature now. What we're getting into is the second generation of 100 gig. So we're going from 10 by 10 electrical lanes to 4 by 25 electrical lanes. So that, that is, in my mind, what's the second generation of Ethernet tech, 100 gigabit Ethernet technology. So we're doing the standards uh, and we need to make some decisions now of how to do that 4 by 25. We've, We've settled on the multi-mode, but we're going for a single-mode 500-meter solution to lower that cost per bit quite a bit. So 10G base T has been defined, you know, since 2006, and we keep seeing process improvements to lower that power per bit. So the power per bit is finally getting low enough that 10G base T fits in the Romney servers, and it's going to be more widely adopted now. We think next year is when it's really going to going to hit its stride and be the main growth area for 10 gigabit Ethernet uh, for server connectivity. We've already started the 40G base T project and we're working on that uh, to define it to 30 meters for end of row application. You know, 10G base T went 100 meters. We went four, we're going four times faster now, shrink that down to 30 meters. So uh, about the same bandwidth length product so that uh, the power consumption will be pretty close to 100 to 10G base T once it gets going. Yeah, power over Ethernet seeing quite a bit of adoption now, but that's over one twisted pair, right? About 15 watts. PoE Plus is, is coming out and they do, they do two, uh, send power over two electric pairs, so you get about 30 watts of power. Now we just started a project where you have four pairs, so you're looking at 60 watts of power at least over uh, your cat category cabling to deliver power to voice over IP phones, televisions for industrial video applications, uh, commercial video applications. So a lot of interesting technology to deliver that power over the Ethernet cabling. And the Ethernet Alliance is going through a renaissance right now where we're, we're the voice of Ethernet. We want to promote Ethernet technologies help educate the, the world, basically. We're doing webinars in Chinese, and we have a whole series of webinars to help educate the public of, about Ethernet technologies. It's, it can be very complex technology. We're trying to make it simple and have a series of webinars from like Ethernet 101, the highest level, to very low level into what, you know, some data center bridging protocol, what it's doing, or the cabling for 40 and 100 gig Ethernet. 
Yeah, the Ethernet's celebrating its 40th anniversary this year. So back in 1973, Bob Metcalf uh, proposed Ethernet for the first time in a memo over at Park. So we're going to be celebrating that uh, on May 22nd when, uh, with uh, a lot of luminaries in the industry to go over what happened in, back in there and how Ethernet's progressed with a lot of innovation till now. So wh what's going on that's going to happen in the next 10 years, 20 years? So it is, you know, the networking uh, protocol of choice.